Morning, just finished my coffee. I'm on the outskirts of Gastown. I'm gonna go around downtown Vancouver today. And I thought I would start off with this alleyway that's full of graffiti. Uh, make my way to the art gallery area and then make my way through to Robson Square. And some very cool graffiti in this alleyway. Not too many people out today. It's uh, still morning, quite overcast, and hopefully it's not going to rain. I think given the colors in this alleyway, I'm going to switch out from black and white temporarily into some uh, vivid colors. I think one of my biggest challenges as a street photographer is patience. I was in London last year, had a great lesson by Linda Wisdom. I'll put Linda's details down in the description. But Linda talked about being like the Terminator when you're out doing street photography. You really need to slow down and observe things. So this gentleman wearing a very shiny metallic bicycle helmet. So I asked him if I could take a couple of pictures trying to get some of the surrounding buildings in there. This is Robson Square, always a busy place. Although this part of it doesn't seem too busy today. Which actually is a good thing. I'm going to switch to the 35, got to get a little bit closer to the stairs. Hopefully I can catch an isolated individual on these stairs. Now I just have to be patient. That's the theme of today's video. This used to be the old city hall, which is now an art gallery. And quite a meeting place. Just get a lot of protests here as well. This is a new bus shelter. And the sun's finally coming out. So it's creating some interesting shadows on the ground here these tables, so I'm going to see what I can get. I've come up here to the law courts, and I'm looking down on Smythe and Hornby. I'm going to see if I can get some shots from up here. It's the Wall Center building. It's a hotel. Nice reflective surface allows you to get some great pictures. So I've had a good day of trying to get some street shots in the downtown core of Vancouver. I've been trying to employ some of Linda Wisdom's advice today, which is to slow down and take my time. Still, it's in my nature to speed things up, so I need to keep trying. If you've enjoyed this video, then please check out my other videos. It's a growing collection. Most of them are to do with street photography, some with macro, and others with long exposure. Most important, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much.